Hi everyone, welcome back to Alex Worldwide. As you know, I'm Teacher Alex and today we're going to be talking about a really common issue. You understand everything in English, but you struggle to speak it. So let's dive into why this happens and how to overcome it. So many English learners can read and understand the language perfectly, but freeze when it comes to speaking it. Now, this problem is more common than you might think. But why does this happen? Well, the main reason is the difference between passive and active language skills. Understanding and reading are passive skills where you receive the information. Whereas speaking and writing are active skills where you produce information. When learning English, most people focus heavily on grammar and vocabulary. And those are important and they become so good understanding these rules and words, but they don't get enough practice using them in real time conversations. So here are some specific reasons why this happens. One, overthinking grammar. Many learners concentrate too much on getting their grammar perfect whilst they're speaking. Now, this habit slows down the conversation because they're constantly thinking about the rules instead of speaking naturally. Two, they have a lack of speaking practice. Speaking requires practice just like any other skill. And without regular practice, it's hard to improve. Learners often just don't get enough opportunities to speak English in their daily lives. And a third reason is they're afraid of making mistakes. So many students are scared of making mistakes. They feel embarrassed and this fear can prevent them from speaking at all. And fourth, listening versus speaking. Like we said, listening is passive, doesn't require immediate responses. It allows you more time to think about the language. Whereas speaking, on the other hand, requires quick thinking, immediate responses, making it more challenging. Let's talk about some solutions to these problems. Number one, learn by topic. Start by organising your learning into specific topics like friendship, health, travel. Get a notebook and create sections for each topic. So whenever you learn new words or phrases, write them down under the relevant topic. For example, under friendship, you might include phrases like, I have some close friends. We became friends after meeting at a party. Now this method helps you build a bank of phrases that will come naturally in conversation, making it easier to speak without overthinking. Second, write before you speak. Now, writing helps solidify your understanding of grammar and vocabulary, making it easier to use them when speaking. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to help you with this. So first, choose a topic. Select a topic from your notebook, like friendship. Write simple sentences. Start with basic sentences. For example, I have a friend. Then expand on this, make it more complicated, add more details to your sentences. I have a close friend who I met at university. Use varied structures. Try using different grammatical structures. For example, we have been friends for five years. And now by practicing writing, you can prepare yourself to use these sentences in conversations, helping you speak more fluently and confidently. Number three, note new words and phrases every time you come across a new word or phrase. Add it to your notebook under the appropriate section. For example, if you learn the phrase circle of friends, add it under friendship with example sentences. Over time, this will help you recall and use these phrases naturally in conversations. Number four practice speaking regularly. Now, to speak confidently, you need to practice speaking regularly. Here are some practical ways to do this. Talk to yourself. 
describe your day, narrate what you're doing, or imagine conversations. For example, I have a small circle of close friends because I'm not very sociable. Practicing out loud helps you get comfortable with forming sentences. Maybe use a mirror. Practicing in front of a mirror helps you see your expressions and gestures. Making the practice more interactive. Try to maintain good eye contact with yourself as you're talking to someone else. Record yourself. Use your phone or a recording device to record yourself speaking. It might sound strange, but play it back to hear how you sound. This helps you identify areas for improvement, such as pronunciation or fluency. Language exchange. Find a language partner online or in your community. Having regular conversations with a native speaker or a fellow learner can greatly improve your confidence and speaking skills. Now, to conclude, the key to speaking fluently is consistent practice. Don't be afraid to make mistakes and keep practicing. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. If you're looking for more practice and support, then think about joining my English community. I'll pop the link down in the description below. Check me out on Instagram and TikTok for daily tips and fun content. Anyway, see you next time. Thanks for joining.